Hey guys, today we're going to be discussing tachometers and tachometer adapters. Uh, what I'm holding in my hand here is a Baron motorcycle tachometer adapter. Um, I have a picture of it going to be posted on here also with the model number and all that good stuff. And what we're going to do today is we're going to add to our Kohler engine an actual racing style tachometer. Now, since a Kohler engine has two coils, you're can, if you tap into just the one coil, your tack is only going to show 50% of your actual engine RPM. So that's where a adapter comes in. It takes the signal from both the both coils and basically mixes them together, giving you a solid one output signal. So it's going to since your coils are going to fire, you know, back back or front, back or front, back and forth real quick, you're going to get both of those signals, mix them together and give one output for your tack. So it's going to be a great little deal. Uh, thank you for joining me for this video and let's get to work. All right, since a tachometer relies on the ground signal of the coils, uh, you want to make sure that you solder everything. I do not recommend butt connectors. Uh, they're just, they're okay for car stereo and stuff like that. But when you're in a high vibration environment, you want to go ahead and solder it. So we're going to be using our uh, soldering station. We have some extension cables that we're going to actually lengthen these pigtails with and solder them together. We're going to use some heat shrink uh, to seal everything up. And uh, I would I would have like a little assortment of uh, different terminals and things you're going to use uh, just in case uh, you need something extra. The kit itself right here does come with a lot of connectors and stuff. Uh, some piggybacks, some uh, nylock connectors, some covered spade connectors. So uh, it does give you a pretty uh, a pretty good selection of stuff that uh, I think you just about covers any installation. But so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, we got our uh, connectors stripped. We're going to go ahead and add them onto uh, the pigtail, make it longer, and seal it up with the heat shrink. And uh, I'm going to get that done, and I'll be right back. All right, we got everything all soldered up. I had a little bit of uh, plastic protection wrap onto this too. And hold on a second. Here's all of our connectors. Uh, this is going to be to coil one, coil two. It doesn't matter if you mix them up. It really doesn't. And then uh, a bullet connector, which I also soldered on as well, is going to be to the tack. Um, I'm using these piggybacks, which uh, you, you push on one spade connector because the Kohler coils are spades. You put on your original... Uh, coil wire and then you can piggyback on our tack adapter wire right on the side so nothing special just real quick uh installation and uh now we're ready to install all right we're outside as you can see this here is a coil uh you have a positive connection then you have a negative connection over here and we just simply use those little uh double spades to tap into the uh negative side negative side of the coil and then again on this side, <clears throat> see if I can get you down in here. Right underneath this loom is our other coil. There's our positive. And you can see we split into the negative along with the, uh, the uh, engine negative. So now. All right, so we just got everything wired up. Now it's time to start it. Let's give her a whirl. So that's how you install a tack adapter on a Kohler engine. Uh, the one that we installed it on is a 31 horsepower fuel injected engine. Uh, it should work also with any uh, Kohler, Kohler command engine that's running the dual uh, uh, coils. So if you have any questions, give me a holler. 